Another FTC1 question. We are going to find the derivative of the function. This is defined in terms of integral, integral from 1 minus 3x to 1. And we have a crazy expression instead of the integral. FTC1 says, don't worry about how to integrate this because derivative will cancel out integral. But before we can use FTC1, we have to make sure that, let's take a look of the limits of integration. We have to make sure the number is on the bottom and the expression that has x is on the top. However, here we have that switch, but we have to switch back. Anyways, so I will still just rewrite this. Why? I'm just do, going to do the rewriting. I'm going to switch the 1 and the 1 minus 3x. I have to have the number on the, bo on the bottom and then the 1 minus 3x on, on the top. I can totally do that. This is 1, 1 minus 3x. I switch it and we just have to make sure we include a negative in front of the integral. That's all. And the inside will stay the same, u to the third power over 1 plus u squared du. And we are ready to go. y prime, this is going to be taking the derivative of this part. So the derivative of negative, integral 1, 1 minus 3x, u to the third power, 1 plus u squared du. And how do we do FTC1? Look at the expression right here. Plugging the parts that has x, which is 1 minus 3x, plugging 1 minus 3x into all the variables that you have in here. That's all. So on the top, I will, well, don't forget the negative. Don't forget this negative first. On the top, I have the u, which it becomes 1 minus 3x. That's raised to the third power. And on the denominator, we have 1 is right here, plus I see the u, but u will be replaced with that. And this is 1 minus 3x raised to the second power. That part is just a plug-in. But then we are still taking that derivative. You have to look at the limits right here. Because we, are, because we don't just have a regular x, we have 1 minus 3x. Because of the chain rule, the chain rule says we have to look at this right here and then take the derivative of that and multiply with what we have right here. Derivative 1 is 0. The derivative of negative 3x is going to be negative 3. So we are going to multiply by negative 3 because of the chain rule. And at the end, of course, we can just simplify this a little bit more. Negative times the negative becomes positive, and I can put a 3 on the top. So we have 3 parentheses, 1 minus 3x to the third power over the same denominator. 1 plus parentheses, 1 minus 3x to the second power. This is how it works. This is FTC1. Once again, plugging the expression has x into all these variables and multiply by the derivative of that because of the chain rule. And make sure that you, when you switch the limits of integration, you change the sign. You make that negative. That's it.